Good evening and welcome back to another video. I think it's a uh, happy Monday. The market is up around 12, 13 billion, which is fantastic news. Um, Bitcoin is over 3,900 now, so we've broken out of um, two small, I guess, resistance levels of uh, 3738, and obviously, as you know, it couldn't get past those. It was moving sideways for a while. You can also see that from the graph. Um, but this morning, we kind of just seem to have just smash through 3006. Uh, obviously, definitely, we're already in 3006. Smash to 3007, smash to 3008, and into 3009. So we broke through into the 3009. So that's fantastic. Um, Ethereum is, is up quite a substantial amount, 12%. EOS, which is up 22%, which is fantastic for EOS holders. And, um, you know, I gave a prediction video of EOS um, the other day. So if you want to have a look at that, please refer back to my videos. Um, but more importantly, I think, um, uh, for me, I think, is the 24-hour volume, which is up massively to 33 billion. This is moving into well today let's just take today for example let's not talk about tomorrow just yet this is moving into sort of the market volume uh, we would be we were getting in the bull when we had a bull 2017 we were getting around 40 30 40 50 billion dollar um 24 hour volume which is more what we expected to get to so 40 billion was roughly about how much we were moving daily um up until now we've been moving around 20 or 18 billion so that's a massive massive um, increase in 25 volume and more so that Bitcoin's volume is is it really a sitting at about 10 billion for 24 hours which is fantastic to see today and if you look down you'll see Ethereum is at five and a half billion um, uh, XRP is at 866 million and EOS is at 1.8 billion so fantastic news and Litecoin as well sorry 1.4 billion just to mention so obviously Bitcoin's moving but the real market leaders today are EOS, uh, very staten, but not don't know whether it's pro project wax that comes up Bitcoin gold. For some reason it's up holo. Uh, again, a project which is um, seems to be on the rise, and uh, even Bitcoin Cash is up sixteen percent. So all very very good. Um, the news around why it's up really is nothing really at the moment um generally what seems to be happening these days when the price goes up um news doesn't seem to come out straight away but the first article may be a contributing factor i don't know yet um but if we look at the bitcoin price and what we need to get past really now um so obviously we gained around 300 dollars uh or i'd say 250 dollars on the bitcoin price um today and obviously if we continued on that sort of vein of price then if we can get to this point so from this is from sort of november time so this sort of 2000 sorry 2000 4200 dollar mark if we can get past that so we would need another good day or days Kind of to break out of this 4,000 to break past 4,200, which we've not been in really since the first of December, actually. So, um, really, two nearly three months it's been since we've been around the 4,200 mark. So, if we can break through sort of the 3,900 and move into 4,000s tomorrow, tonight, today, whatever. Dead, we're starting to move into a bullish sentiment. So the sentiment part is, is the most important thing of signs of bull behavior. Whether it's a bull market is another thing, but um, certainly um, we are looking good for today. Obviously, one day is 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 not what we want. We want continuous days, and um, we want. Um, more information about what, why the price is going up and and this is going to go back to what I was saying yesterday about buying regular crypto and especially in my opinion um, Bitcoin um, because of days like this so you know if you keep buying slowly slowly then even if you invest in $50 
even if that do that fifty dollars becomes eighty dollars, um, you know, over a couple of weeks, then you know, thirty dollars profit on a fifty dollar investment is is pretty substantial, really. If you look at it, that's nearly uh, what sixty percent increase. You wouldn't be getting that in a traditional market like that. Um, so buying, if you can't afford to buy much, buy little, but buy often. So whenever you get paid, I guess. But again. Financial, not financial advice, just the way I would be doing it. The way I do it, actually, is probably cut back on other expenses, things that you don't need, like I said yesterday about f false spending on things like uh, if, you, if you buy lottery tickets, maybe look at stopping that money and putting it into crypto. If you smoke, try and reduce your smoking or cut it out. If you're going out way too much, try and reduce your going out. You know, really, again, it's all about sorting your future out. And this is why we're all investing. We think we can sort our future out and make some money at the same time and help a, a new generation of finance. Um, so anyway, I want to talk about the first article. And it says, put your money onto crypto for the long term, says so major wealth managing for pensions. It's time institutional whales put their money into cryptocurrency according to a major investment management firm, Cambridge Associates. The Boston-based consultancy only advises let's get rid of this video about lobster um major institutions who manage more than 300 billion dollars worth of client assets cambridge was quoted in bloomberg on monday saying despite the challenges we believe that it's worthwhile for investors to begin to begin exploring this today with an eye toward the long term though these investments entail a high degree of risk some may very well append the digital world. This that's remarkably on point statement in a space dominated by optimistic cheerleading and deathly pronouncements. Cambridge specializes in pensions and endowments and its declaration 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 can't say it of support for crypto is probably not a spur of the moment decision. The firm advise would be invested to conduct an industry wide deep dive onto on the various aspects of cryptocurrency, from investing in venture capital to trading tokens and exchanges. Despite the year long decline in the value of cryptocurrency market, Cambridge believes we are still in the developing stage of the industry. The dramatic declines that swept across the crypto space raised questions about the future of these assets and the blockchain technology that underpins it. Yet, in looking across the investment landscape, we see an industry that is developing, not faltering. <clears throat> Signs of turning tide among financial institutions. Last week, Grayscale released this report detailing the steady influx of institutional money to the crypto space in the past year. The fact that institutional investments only increased as coin prices declined is an encouraging sign and suggests that major firms see the potential for a reversal. Very exciting. Uh, Grayscale went on. Okay, so I think I, think I discovered this part yesterday. So I talked about this part yesterday. So, <clears throat> and this is what I'm again referring to. And whether this has any impact on the price, I don't know because this is probably a US article and probably didn't come out till the afternoon. But prices have been going, going up all day, to be honest. However, this is very important. So, if they're asking people who manage pensions to have a portion of their pension money going towards crypto um, and maybe heavily staked in Bitcoin then and if you're a 30 year old person or 20 year old person you've got possibly a 40 to 45 year pension uh, sorry 50, 30 to 45 year, year pension to go and the company invests 5%, 10%, 1% into uh, cryptocurrency every year or every month, or I should say, um, then that slowly, slowly builds up. Obviously, over the years, you would expect your amount to either decrease because obviously the price of Bitcoin goes up or cryptocurrency market goes up um, if they stick into a fund or for them to increase the percentages of cryptocurrency. So you may start off at 1% because it's high risk at the moment. You slowly might move up to maybe... Uh, 10% or 8% or 12% 15% over the years so by the time you retire you have a um, you know on average maybe a 10% stake in a cryptocurrency fund or maybe just necessarily 
in a couple of cryptocurrencies. There may only be one or two or three, or maybe it's to be Bitcoin. If over the years you've invested over a 40 year period, your pension is half a million dollars in the pot. Uh, sorry, let's say 450000 and 50000 dollars of that over the last 40 years was invested in let's say specifically Bitcoin. And let's just say in, 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 in 30 years time, Bitcoin price is a million dollars, then how much Bitcoin would you have and how much does that affect your pension? So even if you had over um, a period of 30 years, 40 years, you've amassed a 0 0.1 or maybe a 0 0.2 of a Bitcoin over 30 years, and then you look at that as a million dollars, that potentially, if that's been a $50,000 investment over 30 years, that may be worth a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars out of a fifty thousand dollar investment if you had returned a hundred and fifty thousand dollars on a fifty thousand dollar investment um, yes it's taken 30 years to get that but you would have gained a hundred and fifty thousand dollars on your pension so your pension if it's four hundred fifty thousand may look more like a six hundred thousand dollar pension and that's, that's why they're saying it because they expect long-term ambitions for cryptocurrency and long-term ambitions for um, the stellar coins, the strong coins, you know, the robust coins. So we're talking about, again, my opinion, not financial advice, your Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, EOS, Litecoin, you know, they are really your top fives that you're looking at at the moment. And, you know, that is going to be, if they're going to create a fund, the fund's probably going to contain those and it might contain Bitcoin Cash because of the fork and Bitcoin SV because of the fork and maybe Ethereum Classic because of the fork. But really it's going to be Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, EOS, Litecoin. And if they will make a fund out of this and it's heavily stacked in Bitcoin's favour where, you know, 70% of the fund is Bitcoin or 65% of the fund is Bitcoin and you've got maybe a 15% or 15% and smaller percentages for EOS and Litecoin. Or may not even be like EOS, it might just be Litecoin then it's not doesn't seem as risky if the percentages are so small. If you actually look at your pension and look at where the money goes, you can see that it goes on to sort of um, international funds or um, other banks with international funds. So maybe an insurance fund or a, a bank bank which has a um, international fund. But ultimately they go into these uh, major funds and that's how pensions work. And you can lose money from your pension. And obviously you can gain because it's all stacked against the market. Now, if that, that money was in a different market, which has to do with the traditional markets, nobody knows the potential. And if your first entrance is now, which is really the sort of time when we expect the cryptocurrency to be maturing, we're getting it in at the right time. So I would only hope my pension company, um, although I probably don't have a say in it, would look to invest in uh, you know, a percentage of my money into crypto otherwise i'll just do it myself and this is again what i was going back to saying is try and invest again opinion um money into cryptocurrency on a regular basis because as prices go up you don't want to be investing at the higher prices when you could have invested at the lower prices like now bitcoin is up um 300 dollars or 250 dollars from yesterday and really last week but if you had bought i don't know um, half a Bitcoin last month or even a quarter of a Bitcoin and then obviously you would be up um, a percentage of $300 so you obviously you'd be up $125 or you would be up um, $75 so and then next month you'd buy a bit more and a bit more and a bit more of course we're going to expect prices to recline a bit to move forward and nothing goes up in a straight line it's just not possible so we expect more of a um, like a steps approach where it goes up a little bit, corrects a little bit, or goes sideways a little bit, goes up a little bit more. It's kind of a more of a healthy increase. Um, but I can't keep reiterating how much is important to look at your funds, look at your projects, look at you know possibly the coins which um, may not be doing as well as they were before, and maybe um, rebalancing your portfolio into um, fewer coins but more focus on and investing into those coins or those projects more which is what my strategy is really for 2018 2019 
and looking at some projects which may not get off the ground really and maybe moving that money into better projects and um, that's kind of where I think um, personally is the best way to do it because we know what's going to we kind of starting to see what's going to make it um, unless things change you know we can see the market forming in, in terms of which news we keep hear, hearing regularly on um, and consistently on and what people talk about you know generally people even this photo this this photo is talking it's meant to be to be talking about um, crypto but they're holding a Bitcoin so you can see when people say cryptocurrency the first thing they think of Bitcoin um, not many people can remember Ethereum or they may know XRP via Ripple and call it Ripple when we know it's called XRP now so but those sort of names come up regularly and even Litecoin as well throws itself into the mix so yeah very interesting article um, I'm glad that it was covered by Bloomberg because we need um, sort of more of this news and a bit more um, like this on a regular basis and also we need some sub substantial information like a uh, a Goldman Sachs coming out saying we're doing this anyway let's let's move on so I'll kind of end on this which also may have a, an impact on today's price so e-commerce giant Ratoken new payment app appears to support crypto Japanese e-commerce firm Ratoken announced that a major update of his Ratoken Pay mobile app will be released on March 18th so really just a month away um, according to the firm's 2018 earnings release published on Feb 12th. The app's new structure appears to indicate that it will support cryptocurrency payments in addition to fiat. According to the company's presentation material for, for the fourth quarter in the full year of 2018, the new version of the app will feature all payment solutions embedded into one platform. As Cointelegraph reported in January, and the recent materials confirm Retican. Rakuten, sorry, I'll be saying it wrong, Rakuten, known informally as Japan's Amazon, revealed a revision to its core structure. The restructured company includes the firm's cryptocurrency exchange, Everybody's Bitcoin, as part of a newly established payments subsidiary, Rakuten Payment. The payment subsidiary, which was previously its loyalty subsidiary under the name Spotlight, which includes a corporation's prepaid card service, Rakuten Eddy. The firm's earning releases specifically that Eddy will be supported in the updated app and also indicates support for QR code payment. Though the app update does not explicitly note crypto support, the company's specification that all payment solutions will be supported on the platform implies support for crypto payments as part of a subsidiary uh, Rakuten payment. Rakuten acquired Japanese crypto exchange Everybody's Bitcoin in August 2018 for $2.4 million. Um, at the time, crypto, a company's representative reported that the firm was considering entry into the cryptocurrency exchange industry as it believes the role of cryptocurrency based payments in the e commerce, offline retail, and P2P payment will, go, will grow in the future. In its earnings release, Rakuten reported a net income of 2018 of about 141 billion yen, about $1.3 billion, a 28.4% year-over-year increase from 2017. So again, this is um, whether this has is pushing the market up. It may have an impact. I don't know how much impact it's had. Not as much as I think that it would increase the market by 12 billion. Um, it's, you know, it's a big company, but it's not. It's not an Amazon or an eBay. So another company which is coming out now, and obviously not clearly, not saying it word for word, but possibly if we read through through the lines, unless you know they start showing another <laughs> listing a currency of a fiat that we don't use. But it seems like if they're listing all the major cards, the next thing they're going to do is um, uh, list cryptocurrency. So whether they're going to list um, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP. Um, you know, it's going to be one of those coins they're looking to list. It's not going to be, uh, you know, your dead coins. So it's an interesting article. Hopefully, we'll find it in a month's time. And really, um, I'm expecting March, regardless of if DACT is going to go ahead in March or not. 
we should start getting more news because a lot of projects are supposedly starting in Q1 and um, you know by the time this is out we would have more information about other desks or crypto exchanges or funds that are starting so we'll have to wait and see what happens this one but it seems quite promising um, but basically the news is starting to come out more regular now and it's more um, positive than there are negative there aren't that there aren't too many pieces of information that is um, coming out and saying you know Bitcoin is dead blah 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 if you've got pension companies or uh, advisors saying that we should be looking to invest in crypto now from today really and we're getting news about uh, a big Japanese e-commerce company obviously not as big as your likes of Amazon or eBay or even Apple uh, or Google um, possibly looking to accept crypto then the news is good you know days are bright so I'll leave it there but please keep um, holding your currency things will start looking better you know we can feel it things are starting to get better hopefully tomorrow will be as good as today I doubt we're gonna go up another, I doubt we're gonna go up another 12 billion I mean that'd be fantastic but sometimes the market can't go up that quickly that fast because we get we get a hard correction so you know even small percentage increases tomorrow or, or a small correction tomorrow and then Wednesday Thursday we have more of a green I'll be happy with that I just don't want another 12 billion and another 12 billion every day because it just means it's going to be a very hard correction on a Thursday or a Friday or next week where we drop, you know, six or seven billion. Steady, steady pace will be better. Anyway, what do you guys think? Are we happy? At the moment, I am. So I'll leave there. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll, I'll catch you guys in our next video. Okay, bye.